An Englishman's home may be his castle, but even castles aren't bombproof. So it's a case of chins up with the civilians in the front line. The Hun may do his worst, but he can't destroy the dauntless spirit of our people, whether young or old. Down may be their homes, but not their hearts. But it isn't only the high courage of the victims themselves that beats the enemy, but the magnificent work of the frontline services, led by those men of all work, the wardens. The Home Guard might reflect that if it went for such as he, the country might have been laid waste by the invader. And what words can pay just tribute to the firemen, especially the auxiliary firemen? Give them a fire, even with a few bombs thrown in, and they'll put it out. But can Jerry put them out? And <laughs> not on your life. The demolition squads and rescue parties are also in the thick of the struggle. If there's a life to be saved, they'll risk their own to save it. They're funny that way. Sometimes you read about the grand things our frontline civilians do. You're able to read about it because of the Nelson spirit of the newspaper workers. They deserve another column. Roof spotters too. They keep their chins up because up is where the trouble is. And while they're spotting, the great printing presses turn out the papers that will one day proclaim the stirring news of victory. Can London take it? Yes, her policemen are still wonderful. And thanks to them and her other frontline heroes, the great capital stands firm. Which brings us to...